Welcome back to the Park Wizard, and in this video, we have some breaking news for you. Universal Studios Hollywood announced, or not announced, but confirmed some details and revealed some new ones and some renderings of the new Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift roller coaster. They did this, um, not like in a tweet or anything, but as of uh, to inform the public and surrounding neighborhoods around the park of what is to come and what to be aware of and the sound levels and all that good stuff. So we got some good juicy stuff here and there's some new details and we're going to break it all down for you right here on Theme Park Wizard. Mm -hmm. Alright, so there are at least four pieces of information here, four pictures, and this one has the most information. The rest are some great um, concept art pieces here. So let's, this is what they call here, the Universal Studios Hollywood Roller Coaster Snapshot. Notice they didn't give it an official name. They did say it would be Fast and Furious themed, but there's still no, they didn't reveal the name yet. Rumored to be called Hollywood Drift, but very in interesting. Remember um, those sound tests they were doing? We knew it was for the residents, and specifically of this island community. This island community is the kind of near the golf course and kind of around the golf course that area because this is where the coaster, well, the community, the coaster will be affecting the most. There'll be half pipe shields, which we'll see renderings of in the next pictures here. Um, those will be like the scream shields, but I think prettier. For an Incredico, so that a Disney California Mission has right now. But we, the Ride of Eagle will be themed to uh, you know, the each uh, movie character's cars. There'll be two trains, a maximum of two trains running at once. Now, that's not a maximum of two trains on the entire track, but two trains running at once. So I'm thinking there'll be about four trains total, then two running, two running, and then there's a dual load station, probably two in the station and two on the track. Each train will have 16 riders per car, so four seats per car, just like a, a real car. Um, and this confirms that each vehicle will be having 360 degree rotation and a controlled spin, which is cool. That confirms that part. It'll also be a two ball field long sound wall. Not sure where the sound wall will be located or it will be themed, like maybe it'll be part of the theming of the coaster. or. Maybe it'll just be a retaining wall on, you know, as they're grading them out right now, maybe they'll just add a retaining wall. And, and maybe it won't even be in guest view, we'll have to see there. But again, they'll have that low rumble track, meaning they're going to fill the track with P-gravel uh, to minimize vehicle sound. B&M, on B&M coasters, they usually fill it with sand. This is going to be an Intamin coaster, and it's even more new, newer technology to quiet, make sure the coaster is quiet to surrounding communities, which is good because places like Disney and Universal and Knott's, not really Six Flags, but Disney Universal Knott's and SeaWorld um, have kind of com communities close to them. Well, not SeaWorld, but just those other three. So any new coaster technology or any, any new technology for coasters that can apply the sound would be really good, especially for Knott's. You now, if Knott's would ever get a giga coaster, maybe they can implement some um, some of this new technology, maybe it'll work out, or at least a hyper coach. And again, those half pipe shield, half pipe shields that we were talking about earlier. Some other cool tidbits from this photo here. Um, the construction hours are some 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. on the weekdays and on the Saturdays, but, uh, just earlier in the day. Um, ten like what five to twelve. Not bad. I'm glad they're able to work on Saturdays. The location, as is confirmed, is in the middle of the park, and it says they'll be able to continue or be in their capacity controls. I'm not sure what if they what capacity limit they may have, but they said by demolishing those two uh the theaters they will still they're still in their capacity controls, which is great. Curious to find out what the, that is. They're gonna use the lighting that's in the evolution plan. Not sure what type of lighting that is, but probably something that's not too bright for it doesn't you know, shine to the studio or the neighborhoods. But most important here I think is the ride hours. The ride hours, it says this ride will operate during normal hours during peak season as well, which was the park open till 10 p.m., but also during special events as it will not exceed the noise level or the decibel level um, to not do that. So this means this ride will be open during Halloween Horror Nights, which is super, super cool. I was curious about that because you know, Halloween Horror Nights goes till 2 in the morning. The rides don't stay open until 2 in the morning. Well, Flight of the Hip at least stays open until like 1. But... Different rides that close at different times. But yeah, this one, since it's on upload, I wonder if it'll stay open maybe until two, but at least maybe until maybe one with Flight of the Hippogriff. And even if it stays open until midnight, that's pretty cool. As that'd be 
another ride open for Halloween Horror Nights, and uh, add more capacity to the event, and yeah, it won't have its hours impacted by sound, which is really, really cool to me. All right, now, now let's take a quick look at this concept art here, at least. It's not really concept art, just kind of, uh, well, I guess it is kind of concept art, just really not even what the folk coaster will look like. You can see some of the track in there, and it's this bl it'll be black track, and it'll be black intimate track, at least, if this concept art is to be fully believed. But also, the it's mainly for the scream shields to see what those half pipe shields will look like. Now, as you can see here, they look just like the Starway glass, which is great. It kind of blends in quite nicely. Although this one's much bigger, this glass, and it kind of it's like a half pipe, so it's, it kind of looks weird at first. But then when you think about it, yeah, it matches the Starway glass, so it's actually kind of clever. And oh, that area will have nice cohesive theme. This is a shot from again the Toluca Lake area, which is neighboring here in Southern California, towards the freeway. So this is a shot you'd be from this community here. You see, there's they have a, a, a literal lake. It's called Toluca Lake. So from a house on this lake, you'll be able to see the coaster, and it won't be too that shield won't be too much taller than the current Simpsons building. And it looks like uh, Hogwarts is even a little taller than that. And of course the Comcast building is the tallest thing there, but in terms of ride infrastructure, it looks like Hogwarts is the tallest point. So it looks like the half, the tallest point of the coaster still won't surpass Hogwarts, which is good. So it won't be a visual obtrusion. Going over here to the, um, looking east from the island community, here's a better look at that, um, the half pipe right there. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, but super cool as well. It looks like it literally looks like we're skating or something. But you can see a little bit of the Intamin track there as you zoom in and you see it'll be black and have those scream shells in the beach. Again, just like the escalator starway, which is cool. Last shot from the Toluca Estates, and here's just a better look at the scream shield. And I it confirms again, I blue gray ammo man going right over the escalators, which you see the footers being prepared for right now, which is super cool. But yeah, what do you guys think of this brand new information for Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift? I'm super, super excited to watch this go up over the next few months, years, and it should be open by probably late next year, soft open, and then early 2025 official grand open. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and how, ex how excited are you guys that this is going to be open during Halloween Horror Nights? Um, that's super exciting for me, at least. But yeah, let me know in the comments below, subscribe for more theme park updates, and as always, have a furious day.